Super Mario Sunshine, a solidified classic 3D platformer. Do you remember the good old times traversing from beach to beach, vibing with the cataquacks and just enjoying the brilliant atmosphere of Sunshine as a whole while collecting numerous of collectibles? What if I tell you it's already been 22 years? Isn't that crazy? And we never got a direct sequel, but let's change that today. Super Mario Eclipse is the Super Mario Sunshine 2 we always wanted when we were kids, but never got. But now it's here, exactly 22 years later. And it continues the story of Sunshine, improves mechanics and flaws the original game had, and delivers countless of new challenges, places to visit, explore and enjoy. Get ready for another stunning vacation. Dude, I can't believe this is real. Tutorial. Trials of the Temple. Holy, this looks so cool. Look at these peach statues. Okay, so some trials. Two bro nozzles much faster than before. Press the R button to blast forward. It's going so much faster. This path is narrow. Try to pressing the R button lightly. Oh my god! Okay, I get it. I get it. Dude, you even get respawned immediately, you don't die. Okay, so you probably also cannot shortcut. Okay, this feels a little different to get used to. Also, it charges up instantly. Oh my god, dude, why did I lose so much health? That's crazy. I guess they have like some progressive fall damage there. I lost 7 health for fall damage. That's hilarious. Okay, the rocket muscle, however, feels quite normal so far, at least. That's crazy! Okay, I see. Yeah, it makes sense to have, like, a little tutorial to get used to the new mechanics of the game. For sure. Let's see what the last room has to offer. Probably some hover nozzle shenanigans. Hover nozzle has a new burst ability. Press A right after R. I see, so you get like an extra boost if you do like a spin jump. Okay, for some extra height. That makes sense. Important to note though is you cannot use the hover nozzle afterwards again. Ah yes, it seems you have finished your training finally. Feel free to return if you desire to sharpen your skill. Oh my god. This is incredible. But with that, this time for real, let's get started with Eclipse! Mario? All packed up and ready to go, Mario. We have been planning this vacation for a long time now. We are also excited that you were able to come with us. Luigi will join us later, so we'll decide where to go and update him. So we start at Peach's castle here. Can we enter the castle? Okay, not yet, probably. Dude, this is the castle grounds for Mario 64. Mario 64 DS, actually. There's like this little maze hatch over here. I know we can do something with Peach's Castle later, probably. Now we have to do some early game shenanigans first, I assume. Okay, so here is the little plane. The royal plane. With the whole to Toad Gang here. I guess it's not too important, so let's get going. Oh my god, why is it so dark? Holy. Dude, in the background, do you see this? Really bright thing. Oh, is that the shine gate? It is. Dude, the shine gate is so bright. But the whole game is so dark. Okay, just like in the original, we start at the airstrip. But I can already spot a lot of new islands in the distance. Like this. Those two there are new for sure. Okay, to your information, this hack basically has the whole base game in it, so 120 shines plus an additional 120 shines for the ROM hack itself. Oh my god! For now we cannot do anything but follow like the original base game stuff. We'll find stuff eventually, right? It is so dark though, holy! But the shine gate is so bright. It didn't look like that only from the distance, also from here. Jeez. Another major improvement is this little tracker, do you see that? 
We have zero out of 61 shine sprites in Delfino Plaza right now and zero out of 20 blue coins. Okay, it sounds like a lot, but most of them are... Not most of them, but a lot of them are like for the blue coin trading action for sure. But this tracker will for sure come in handy for some little sub areas and stuff where you have like a couple of shine sprites and blue coins, but can't say for sure how many there are. And there are other islands too. Dude, I'm so hyped when we get to the new content. For now, we have to follow like the base game, I guess. So yeah, let's do that. Of course, you all are here for the new content, but everything is dark now, which makes much more sense than in the original. And it will become brighter as soon as we collect like shine sprites, because with every shine sprite we collect, it will get brighter progressively. Also, where is the fence? Or is this a new area? Is this a new area? Let's just lead to another area. Oh my god. Now we are talking. It's still quite dark. Maybe I will push up the brightness a little for the video. Let's see. Aldelfino Geo Wayne Creek. Interesting. Nine shine sprites total and no blue coins. Oh, this does lead to um, Gelato Beach. Okay, so this is like a mid path thingy connecting Bianco Hills with Gelato Beach and having like nine shine sprites somewhere. Rico Harbor? Oh my god, this is like an extended area too. I see something new again. This is so awesome, seriously. Like, you explore like the old levels you knew from Sunshine, but they all have like new additions making them stand out. Unfortunately, the previous level was like super small and it's like probably really just there to connect stuff. And go some shines at some point, I guess. But, oh dude, we got up there. We got the OG sunshine map in here. And the train from the beta version, I guess. Which had like some train shenanigans planned. Can we interact with the train? Okay, so I see this leads back to Bianco Hills. <laughs> no, we have just been there. I don't wanna... <gasps> can we enter the train? We can! Oh, we can really choose, like, some worlds. We have Serena Beach, Hotel La Crema, I guess. Erto, I don't know what that is. Enrico Harbor. Have you ever been on this train before? I travel with my family a lot on it. We get to see a lot of cool spots. I like trying food in different places. What does Noki say when they can't make up their mind? Noki Doki. I have one more. What is that? What's the Pianta's number one rule? The right to tree speech. My mother said I was grounded. For being grounded, I'm really going places in this train. We even get a shine sprite for their jokes. What? Okay, this is insane. I love that. I love that. I don't know why I love this, but... Holy moly, this is crazy. I don't know if anyone else would have talked to the Snoki. I was just talking because, come on, this was one Noki there. Whatever. I want to go to La Crema. This hotel La Crema. Dude, holy moly. Oh, Mama Fia. It's a whole new world. Like, probably supposed to be in sunshine at some point, but got scrapped. Dude, and the custom music. Crazy stuff. 11 shine sprites on 20 blue coins. Oh, here we got the beach area. This is so big. I'm telling you, Dad. This is the hotel. Dude, the door is even moving. Something is off about this place. It feels ominous. It does. Maybe because it's new, too. Oh my god, it's actually bright in here. I mean, that makes sense because we have some lightnings in here. Can I check in? Can I talk to you even? Don't mind the blue coin ice block. Those get shipped to all the reception desks around the island. I mean, I gladly take that collectible. I don't even know where to start because it's all new. We even get like a Mario 3 picture over here from 1-1, one, one, I think it is. Some Pac-Man. Uh, something. Pong. 
Mario Kart, Donkey Kong, Tetris. This is so sick. They even got Mario Party in here. Mario Sunshine, obviously as well, they have to. We can't enter the kitchen, I assume. This is the restaurant. Can we get to the next floor somehow? I think you're supposed to be here. Oh, they have a little elevator in here. Okay, this is crazy. With that, you can, like, change the floors. Is it just one floor, or can we go to multiple floors? I hear a shine sprite. Also, finding the blue coins will probably be a little painful, especially with the graffiti. Unless there's the other axe. No, I don't see the axe, but I hear a shine sprite. Is it, like, through this door? No, it is not. There's a ghastly draft coming through that went. I can almost hear music through it. No, not the piano downstairs. Can we go through the vent? Can... Can we dive? No. Don't ask! <laughs> okay. Ball! Ball! Wait! We can squeeze through the kitchen. Fine, then. Let's see if this is doing anything. It has... Okay. Okay. Now we are in the underground. In the sewers of the hotel? Or... Hey, some creep broke in here. Get him. What? Oh, this is so cool. We have to escape from, like, the... Uh, security guards. Yeah, we have to be unnoticed. This is incredible. And you don't die immediately in case you get seen. Dude, how did he see me? Are we through? There's a blue coin. Don't forget about that. N no! Check out this guy walking in here. Is this Don Pianta? From Paper Mario? He looks really similar to him. Hotel at Creamel belongs to us, the Mafia. You be wise to remember that, bub. Okay, now, now now we have to fight? Okay, this is hilarious. This is hilarious, I have to say. <laughs> you think that was tricky? You haven't seen nothing yet. This Dusenade will teach you not to mess with the Beyond the Mafia. Oh my god, they, they got me. In the original, you never have to fight like this. Except for like the King Boo fight. Which was something else, because you could skip that easily. 200 says that the new guy wins. But I have to final say around here. Prepare to face our best fighters, the Stu Syndicate. You surprised me, little man. Well, let you explore the hotel as you please. The shine was meant for the arena champion. I guess that's you now. This is some next level. Oh, this is so fun. Take these. We'll recognize you from here on out. We are part of the Mafia now. We control Hotel Lacrima. Yeah, so silly me. It wasn't some security guards of the hotel. It was actually the Mafia. I didn't expect it like the Mafia to control the hotel, but... Whatever. Including Don Bianda, which is really cool. Oh, now the vent is open. So we never had a chance to actually do something with the vent. Because it's meant to be for the second mission. Oh my god, we get a little sub area with the do 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 music. Oh, oh yeah. Let's do this. And I died immediately. Whatever. I don't know why, but I died again and I feel like a little overwhelmed because this is like gigantic and you have so many options where you can go. That makes me think, is there more than just one Shine Sprite? Are there a couple of blue coins? Or do you have just like thousands of like opportunities to do this Shine Sprite? Like I'd be cool with anything, honestly. Okay, now I hear the Shine Sprite. The trigger doesn't tell me anything. Like it's still the same trigger like in Hotel of Trima. So that makes me think there is probably nothing outside of this regular shine sprite plus maybe an additional one for red coins which would make sense 
that this level is like as big as it is. Wait, that was Shine 5, Streaker of the Air went. You don't have to do them in order. Like, not always at least. Yep, that just makes sense. You have a red coin mission for this. Collect the eight red coins. You have two minutes. No, that was the last red coin. Yep, now where I know the level layout, it's somewhat simple. Of course it is. And nowhere near close. But it definitely is a, like a mixture. You have a lot of red coins around the level, scattered around the level, of course, making some areas being more important, but also some is just for sh your own choice what path you want to go, which is really cool. And for the missions, of course, it's not like the original Super Mario Sunshine, but having like some variety sometimes of choosing like your own shine sprite is really cool. Not always having to do them like in order and stuff. But we want to see more areas. So let's see where we are right now. Aldelfino, Ragivosa Marsh. Yeah, that's some Italian. So sorry, but I don't speak Italian. <laughs> so I definitely pronounced this really poorly. Warship Island? Minefield Mayhem. This looks incredible. Hey you, Ten Hot Soldier, or uh, however it goes. And now the entire lagoon is crawling with deadly mines. Use the rockets. You don't want to? Too bad, soldier. You have been officially drafted. Unbelievable, we have got drafted just like that. This mantling mines should be their job. Okay, so... The marines have an interesting take on what makes up a warship. We have blue coins in here. Let's check. Is it like... Yeah, it's always like that. 11 shine sprites and 20 blue coins for the regular levels. So the original had like 11 shine sprites and 30 blue coins. And they reduced this to 20 blue coins. Which most definitely is still more than enough blue coins for us to collect, right? Especially with having as well the main game... 20, 240 blue coins in there as well. Like, in total, it will be probably 400 plus blue coins, I assume. If I hit a mine, am I just dead? Oh, yes. I do oh, Dude, Mario exploded! That's brutal. But how do we activate those mines? Or do we have to activate them even? They said something about rockets. Oh, I see. I get it. Like, we probably have some rockets scattered around the whole world, which we need to use to make the mines explode, I think, from a little further away. Oh, they shoot it instantly. For some reason, I wanted to use them, like, similarly to the balloons. But, of course, they work differently. Okay. That was the last one! Here we go! For that, we of course get the Shine Sprite. Oh, holy moly. This was something. Yeah, the rockets are so sensitive. Look at that. I can just walk into them and they explode immediately. I hack a wall and they explode. This is the only issue I have with that. If that wouldn't be the case, it'd be so much smoother, but... It's a custom aspect, so we can't complain too much about it. It was still really fun overall, especially with completing this challenge. Cannonball delivery. Let's see what they have for us this time. Hey, hey, another important job. Ah, of course, your draft hasn't expired yet. Retrieve the cannonballs to the crate. We counted five cannonballs in total. What a waste. Do we get, like, a sound? Sound cue? That we made it right? Oh, yep, yep, okay. So they behave like coconuts and like the fruit ladies. Wait, we can pick up stuff underwater? That's new? Wait, is it? Yo, yeah, for sure it is. If you threw a fruit inside of the water, it just despawned immediately. It for sure is new. Okay, the last cannonball is so mean. I looked forever for this. It always has to be like that. If you have to search for like some collectibles or anything like that, there's always this one thing that takes forever to collect. Still, it's such a simple idea, but 
so great. And I already got quite a bit brighter in here. So I also saw this little pathway behind the lighthouse. I mean, the lighthouse which is gooped right now. But come on, that's not too important. Delfino Plaza can wait. We want to see the new cool content. So let's see. Dude, this is going forever. Ertorock, the Ertoruption, the Piantas. Oh no, we have to rescue 10 Piantas. I mean, fine. We don't know the map layout or anything yet, but fine. We can rescue the Piantas, hopefully. We have a little over five minutes to do so. Okay, obviously this is one of the levels we also saw from the train. Outside of that, we don't have any other levels. So far, at least, we know of. A blue bird. Walking around this level, I don't think I'll be able to rescue all Piantas, though. Please hit it! Let's go! We destroyed it. Okay, we get a blue coin for this. Yeah, no way that was a Shine Sprite. <laughs> no way. Also, I've been talking like to every Pianta after rescuing them, because usually you get a blue coin like that, but you don't get any more. The reward. Oh, not even a cutscene. Yep, like I said, having this for mission one, before even before even knowing like level geometry, it's hard to get around. But second try, we take those. I assume you need the rocket nozzle, but we haven't it unlocked yet. Probably it's like a progressive unlock. Like if we unlock it for Delfino Plaza, it will also be unlocked for this level and including every other level. At least that's what I'm thinking because for every level so far, both turbo and rocket nozzles have been completely locked. Like, I have no access to them whatsoever. That would just make sense, I think. So let's move on for now. Hold on, Corona Mountain is already unlocked? Why can we go already in on... Cor Whoa! Corona Mountain looks a little different from what I remember it. Dude, this looks stunning! Why? Why did I change that? I'm not complaining, this looks crazy. This looks good. Okay, we still got uh, zero shines and ten blue coins in this level. Okay, technically we had like one shine, which was uh, the final Bowser fight. One thing for sure, there are blue coins scattered around everywhere. And with everywhere, I mean on every structure. Like, seriously, that's crazy. This looks phenomenal. I'm definitely going to zoom through this and skip a couple of blue coins, probably. Oh, no. Okay, there are also some similarities, like the rocket nozzle ending. Still, we don't have the rocket nozzle unlocked yet. I think we are literally stuck, so we can't continue in Corona Mountain. Unless we collect, like, some more blue coins. Unfortunate. It's crazy how Corona Mountain changed, like, entirely. This whole game is a thing for its own. It's so crazy, big, and cool. I can't wait to explore even more. But that's for another time. This ROM hack for Super Mario Sunshine is much bigger and complex than I imagined. It was stunning and I really can't express how I feel that this is actually happening. But of course, we only have seen a small margin of what still waits to be explored. This game truly is a blast. And if you see it the same way, you should subscribe now. That'd be a total blast. Too. By the way, if you want to play this amazing hack yourself, check out the description below. There will link you the game and the awesome creators who made all this possible. Until next time, see ya!